Wow. Tag you, please be with me. Saris, um, it's one of those things, you know. We are here, we are. Try to set up this. Yep. Yes. This is just um, an update situation about um, the water that this new generation never cared to find out what's actually happening to them. In the past 30 years, it's been um, an issue of water, is water issues and adjust it. A lot of people care to know what is going on. Um, majority of the people don't know what is tap water. As a result of this, they believe in where and borehole water that is not purified. And you can see what is going here on uh, here in Australia soil today. It's a water pandemic issues coupled with coronavirus that is affecting the Victoria society. I so much love this place because they give out information to everyone to look after themselves. The issue that just um, surfaced yesterday you can see how the government is working around the clock to get its results. That's why I love this place. I love this country with all my heart. They do the needful to make sure we don't lack nothing. Thanks to the Andrew government of the, 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 and the human resources, human services, DHS, what they're doing to restore the water issues. Coming back to Nigeria, majority of the people born for the past 25 30 years ago doesn't know doesn't know what is a tap water they don't know what is a tap water and i find it very difficult um to explain this issue to people a lot of people believe in drinking water from boreholes and wells and they believe that is a water supply from the government the fact that they don't pay bills they don't know the consequence of what they fixing. Thank you, Mr. Magic Ducky. Help me share this video. Let's touch life together. Um, when you share this, you're actually giving hope to people. And everything in Africa is being politicized if you don't share their views and opinions. The life we live is what we make out of it. I constantly use that word because our people, some of their brains lack substance and they never think alike. Let me break it down a little bit by bit. You see, back in the 80s, towards 90s, there used to be water supply in Edo State. Through tap water, pipe bone water, from, we have a water reservoir. But this, the, the workers are still receiving salary, but they don't pump water uh, anymore. They let the pipe on the ground is destroyed. No one cares to find out why there is no tap water existing in a new state. In the 80s, these certain billionaires that came up with tap uh, borehole water system, uh, Mr. Um, Tom Lyon. Tom Lyon, Tom is, uh, was, is a business 
philanthropist. He's a billionaire. He came up with the solution of giving people borehole waters to, to substitute the lack of water supply to the people. After that, the water system collapsed. In the past 25 years, a do state has don't know what is tap water. So anybody born between that period to this time don't know what is a tap water. It is a shame to see our leaders behaving like animals. It is a shame to our leaders to see them behaving like kangaroos, hopping from one place to the other without checking whether there's a car coming on the other end until they respect the dignity of the little children. If, if it baffles me enough, when you see people come up with political ideology without including water in it. You see, water is the first form of security you want to give to your people. When you talk security, people think you are talking about soldiers, you are talking about air forces, you are talking about police, you are talking about um, day washers, night washers. These are not the first security. When you talk about security in the system, you talk about water supply. You talk, talk about educations. You talk about good road networks. You talk about food productions. That is when you talk about security. Every other ones are essential, but the first form of security is water educations. Once you have education, you, you got it all. There might not be job, but you have that sense of human belonging to create one for yourself. If I thought you don't want to depend on someone living overseas for your income, because a lot of PDZ people believe in a way, depend on their brothers and sisters overseas to make a livelihood. They find it very paramount to their livelihood because they, it, they turn it to become a dubious game. You give the complaint, you don't give the complaint. And if you send anyone to help you, they, do, they dupe you. They don't even care whether you are the same blood. It has been going on for years and years. Nearly everybody living overseas has been affected one way or the other. Instead of them to hold their government responsible to creation of job, provision of security, which includes water and education, they fail to understand that. That's why every now and then I go against any government coming to power without putting water into the agenda. Recycling of bottle, water bottles without putting them into your agenda. Landscaping, if you don't have it in your agenda, you are not going to be a good government. Because whatever you're doing, the street is going to be dry. It's going to look like you are living in a desert. If you're in Benisiri, if you ever video anything in the street of Benisiri, it looks like if you are driving through Agades. Agades is in the Nigeria Republic towards Libya. It's a, it's, a, it's a forbidden desert. Over the course of two, three weeks ago, there were a lot of um, sheep capsizing. A lot of Nigerians wasted their life, a lot of Benin people wasted their life in that boat that capsized. Because they failed to hold their government accountable for job provisions, securities, and the like. When we talk about politics, we're talking about everybody. We're not leaving anyone out of it. Both the governor, the commissioners, the House of Reps, the, the, the councillors, the chairmen, the permanent secretaries, there's all walks of life. The philanthropists, we hold everybody accountable because the voice of the people is being suppressed. That's why the government careless. You see, the Hong Kong people want something, they fight for it. The Black Lives Matter is in America, they're fighting for it. But that, until the black people, the African life matters, it's going to be difficult for the Black Lives Matter in America to succeed because the black people in America, one of the most riskiest people you can ever find on the surface of the earth. They don't like we black from around the continent. They always think about themselves. And they forget that the root of a black man is, a, is an African. That anywhere you see a black man, never you ask him where he come from. It's an African. So African life matters a lot. 
Because they are the roots of the black people. Ignoring it is like setting fire. Setting fire with a, with a gas mixed with petrol. That is the first thing these people need to first of all check. Where do I come from? How do I, how do I locate my assets? How do I fix the issues that is affecting our people? These billionaires don't care about it. Once they have make money in Queens, they will go and live in LA. They will forget about the Queens they came from. They're not building houses everywhere there is rubbish. They use guns, fighting each other, fighting against themselves. That is what they get. That's why I constantly tell people that the life we live is what we make out of it. No matter the situation, no matter how you think about it, no matter how you feel about it, it doesn't really matter. As long as you are ignoring the facts, you're going to live in ignorance. So ignorance of not getting water to a do state for the past 25 years, showing people what type of water is, is a failure. Not just only to the state government, and equally to the federal system of government that preside over the state, and the state providing, presiding over the local councils. If you go to a do state, it's a rubbish dump. Where the government said, the governor says he's done his business and it's a local government issues. But he said, he forgot that when a principal of a school failed to acknowledge the teachers, the students are there to suffer. So if the governor failed to acknowledge the, 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 the chairmen and the councillors and the like and the commissioners, the, and every other people under his government, then he's going to suffer. Irrespective of the situation, they are going to suffer. Now, we all know all the grammars that is coming out of their political grammars. I call them political buhaha, political zero. If you engage in a political campaign just to go and blow grammar, and you end up drinking bottled water instead of drinking tap water, then you are, you are a failure to your people. To indulge in breaking abracadabras and the like when your people cannot drink a simple water. African is blessed. African is blessed. African is blessed with water. African is... Can you get up? A food? Can you take all of them out of here? Um, African is blessed with water. Africa is blessed with mineral resources. Africa is blessed, when I say water, Nigeria is blessed with abundant stream. They are blessed with abundant rivers. They are blessed with abundant um, natural resources. We don't need to... Our, when we refine water... Hold on, get away from here. You know, Afri African is blessed with other resources. Oh, yeah. ah. Africa is blessed with water resources, blessed with all the natural resources, blessed with everything we ever think about that make life existence. Africans, my Africans, is this your back that is bent? We need to prioritize everything we're doing. When it comes to our government, we need to make sure we let them know that what we do and how we do it is very, very important. Very, very important. When, before you go and vote for any government, make sure there's education. The first priorities and the second priority is water food provisions. If that is not in the system, good road of networks. Not just coming there to babuzo you. You know, I heard a basaki went to a village and tell them, oh, he forgot. He did not realize there's no road to come here. That they should vote for him. If they vote for him, in the next two years, he will bring them road. When he knows, he only have four years if he ever won the election. You know, so the issue of water is a big pandemic when it comes to Nigeria. You can see how rest, the response the Victoria government used to try to restore the water supply. We have water over here. Half of the water here, we refine them. But in Africa, 
Time go out some of the villages got rivers, they got stream closer to them. They go fresh water without purifying it. They drink it from the source. And they are okay. Whether there is rubbish on it, chemical dump on it, nobody give it them. They believe it will flow across to the sea. In most cases, when chemical substance goes into this water, you see it prompts, dies in, in quantities, in millions. I saw that in my village when I was growing up. Someone put a chemical in the streams. The, the prompts that came out of the water was more than a million. It was oozing here and there. A lot of people went there, packed these prompts and ate it. Without thinking about the consequence, thank God no one died. But what I'm trying to say in essence is this. From the night to now, I do states don't have water. Even though we have a lot of rivers that float across it. There's no refinery of waters. We have water reservoir that is empty, but we have workers that are receiving millions of salaries. But this crop of political gangatuas, the crop of political embezzlers, they came, all they tell you is like Obasaki is doing renovation and he's telling them to give him more four years to do extra renovation. We don't want government that is coming to do renovation. We want government that will bring industrialization. Government that will supply people with water. Government that will bring education to the people. When you are in a system with no water, you are in a system with no education. You are in a system... Can you go there and find out what is going to wrong with these people? You know. So, that's what it is. The government of the people, by the people, and for the people. I don't really see. It's a government for the pocket, for the bank, and for the Europeans. That is democracy in Africa. Government of the pocket, for the bank, and for the Europeans. For the Panama cities. For Bank of England. For Bank of London. For Bank of, um, of China. Bank of, uh, uh, of South Africa. That is the government we have in Nigeria today. Bank of the pocket of the bank of the Europeans. They say democracy is for the people, but the people are for the You know, this democracy thing is never, if it's never going to work, if we don't be, talk about it, if we're not going to be speaking out about the way and manners, these people are ruining the country. How can we have a system that does not provide water for the people? How can you have a system that does not care about security? How can you have a government that don't care? Common landscaping. A government doesn't know what to do about it. But even the art and culture that we think about preserving, they're using the commissioner of art and culture to send him what? To, to launder money to Europe. And now he's been arrested. And the same government come back home, tell every Edo people, that the commissioner that is arrested for money laundry is the best commissioner Edo have ever produced. Then he classified himself as the best governor Edo state have ever confessed, produced. Can you imagine a governor who believe in MOU, a governor who cannot provide security, full of yes, man, it's a supermarket in Edo state, in Benisiri, to be precisely. The beggars in the street are speaking French. They speak Arabic. They speak Aounsa. To be frank and sincere with you, before you can find a single Edo person as a beggar in Nigeria, is is is. I mean, it's going to be one in a million. An Edo person in the street begging for food. Half of the people you see with water bottles and the like. We all understand what I mean by begging is these people with the hijab sitting with the, their leg folded in ring roads, in tersecular, second secular, mission roads. You know, a majority of them are blind. And they said they, are, they came to Edo State to seek for refugee. And I understand there's a camp somewhere in Edo State. So they come out from the, from the state, from the camp, because they are not getting uh, humanitarian support. They come out to beg in the city in order for them to survive. These kids need educations. They need security. It's a taboo to be a beggar in this place. It's, it's at law by the, by the government of Australia. 
Begging is not allowed here. But if you look at it, the way it's been uh, managed and being structured, you begin to wonder what position did the do people occupy in the states? Come to think about it. Come on, talk about it. I well, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching from, from Lagos. Now, what I'm trying to say in essence is that majority of Edo people don't know what is a tap water. They might have heard about the name tap water. They've not actually torn tap water and own it and say this is the water supplied by the government of Obaseki or for Shumule, whoever they have ruled Edo State for the past 30 years. You know, it is hilarious to have a sister that is not working and everybody's <laughs> clapping for it. I wonder what people are thinking about inside their brain that make them believe boho and well water is tap water. I understand most of the water probably be a little bit clean, looking at it clean. But the purities in there is never be sanitized, never be chlorified, no chlorine on it, nothing on it. And boho waters is one of the most dangerous water to ever drink. And it's causing typhoid, causing malaria, cause a lot of diseases that is affecting the people. A lot of people don't understand this. Boho water is a source of typhoid fever. And they say typhoid fever is killing people in Nigeria more than the coronavirus. So that's what I title this water epidemic. Not pandemic or pandemonium. You know, like in, uh, Ma in Melbourne here, or France, or I Spain, America, Brazil. You know, India today recorded 77,700 and something coronavirus. Get it right. 77,000, 77,000.7 coronavirus cases. France recorded 5,000. Spain recorded 6,000. England, about 4,000. America is over 100,000. Brazil, about 30,000. Mexico, people are dying in numbers. Because African doesn't believe in coronavirus apart from South Africa and Egypt and Morocco because these people are closer. Come to Nigeria today, they don't even care. They all know there is coronavirus, you see. Even though they are taking a little, a little bit of precautions, majority of them don't believe there is coronavirus. Just say that they don't believe, they don't know what is they don't know what is tap water. Tap water is a is a it's an essential commodities to the people. You know. You know. You know. Tap water is essential commodities. Very very essential to the life of the people. To live a life genuinely without any hickeys, you have to have water. For existence, water is a source of existence. For a life to live, you say a well, a life well spent. If there's no water, there will not be a life well spent. I'm using this opportunity to call on Isaiah Yamu, if you win the government, to first of all make water as a first priority to be restored in a new state. They have to do whatever it takes to restore water supply to houses in a new state. And then create roads and sewages to remove all these pandemics that is affecting people. The typhoid. So that people can stop building, digging tap uh, borehole waters. Borehole waters are made for farming. It's not made for people to be drinking in the street. If you have a farm, you can dig a borehole there. So you can use the water to water the plants and trees and whatever you are planting. Not for people to be drinking it at home. Because there's no way they can refine it genuinely for the consumption. People are getting um, what they call um, um, uh, reactions. A lot of people come in, they say they're having reactions in their body. Not only reaction, they drink water and they constantly sick of malaria and, and, and typhoid. It's affecting our adult people Seriously, and this is one of the things when we set up our NGOs to look into the life of the people. Please share this video. Let's touch life together. I know the video probably come late in the afternoon, 
and I'm going to do videos in the morning and late in the evening. I have a program coming up by, by 9 o'clock, 10 past 9 tonight. And I'm going to give you a little bit, a brief history of the Edo Empire. As you guys know, my ancestors are um, about Aware the first, who happened to rule the Edo Empire 1440 to 1473. One of the greatest Oba that ever lived in the surface of the earth. The, the record are there. So you can go and find out for yourself. The Edo Empire, 1940 to 1973. You will see the motor. And before the invasion of 1897 by the British Empire, who came as a rogue to come and steal all the, those artifacts that they are using to make money for themselves in England today. It is barbaric, it is uncalled for and unjust to have a government who does not know how to provide a simple water for its people. A life well spent without water is going to be a life died in poverty because they break it down. Someone who has no way of eating three square meat cannot even get a ball hole. Well, it's another catastrophe. It's the only thing that are making people living quietly and very good in Africa or in Nigeria or in those states precisely is because there's no earthquake. Nearly every home in those states have wells. It's a big well of 15, 18 feet. Every home. So if we have 200 homes in the street, they have 200 wells. That's 218 feet. Wells. You can't imagine if they were, were experiencing earthquake in Africa, what that would have been. Majority of the houses would have been sinking. Thank God. God hears an African prayer and keep most of this pandemic away from us. The pandemonium of the of the type of fever that is killing people in a dose state, the malaria fever and this killing people in a dose state need to be looked into. There's no amount of vaccine you're going to produce when you are not taking care of what you drink, what you eat. Water are meant to be, if you are drinking water from the borehole or well, you have to boil it and drink it. That way you will be at least 55% away from contracting water, waterborne infections. Because you have a toilet here and you have a borehole here. And you drill water from here and there's borehole here. I don't, I don't get the logic. It's, it it, it, it becomes very difficult. You know, so we need to talk about this constantly. I'm not going to be here for so long. I'm almost going to round up. The reason why I'm here today is talking about water consumption in a dose state that is causing a, 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 a typhoid fever and waterborne diseases, malaria and other diseases that we am expecting the next government coming in to fix. My first agenda is to attack any government that will take over uh, from on the 22nd to put in place water supply to every home. If he's not going to do that in the next first, his first 100 days in the office, he's going to get a lot of attack from my end because that's my first priority for the people. And before finding a way to get rid of the Boko Harans and full enhancement from Edo State, they need to go back to where they come from. They cannot use Edo State as a safe haven start building unnecessary mosques everywhere where they do not believe in humanity. Raping our children, raping our mothers and our sisters. It's a barbaric ideology to have all these people closer to you. Because continue to bless us and continue to guide us. So today is uh, Saturday. I call on the wisdom of the philanthropist in and around Edo State to take this as a first precaution and a first exercise to exercise in the next coming government in order for us to have a clean water to drink. We are tired of buying um, borehole water, 
water from the bottled water, causing typhoid fever and malaria. It's some call for, and it needs to be addressed. My people, this is where I hang the mic, and then I call on everyone that is watching right now to please share this video and let's touch life together. It's very important. This is my take on the next coming Edo State government to practice and put in place, to supply water to his people and to bring security and electricity, good road networks and erosion to be controlled. Plant trees in the street. But before I go, when you see this on your elbow, wear your face marks, observe social distances and follow the government rules and procedures. To save life, it's very, very important. Take care and stay blessed. Don't forget, boil your water before you drink it. Before you brush your mouth, boil your water. Before you wash your face, boil your water. If you are showering, boil your water. It's very important. Whatever you do around Victoria, boil the water. Never, never made a mistake of not boiling the water. Thank you and stay blessed. Bye for now.